I guess I was in the hospital about maybe three or four days. One morning, early in the morning, I was um, in my bed and this young doctor walked in and said, hello, Miss Starling, you have kidney disease. I said, kidney disease? What do you mean? I don't know what that is. What you talking about? He said, but because of your high blood pressure, your, it caused your kidney to overwork and, and caused them to fail. You're going to have to go on dialysis. I have no idea what dialysis was. And I said, I'm not. I'm going to kill myself. I don't want to know what dialysis is. I, I, don't, I can't accept this. I was in denial. And then one day, I, somebody told me about the um, American Association of Kidney Patients. They sent me information all about kidney disease, all about transplants, all about the latest and the greatest and what was coming out. So they really educated me. They also sent me some information about a workshop a conference that they was having. And at that conference, that's when I met people that were on dialysis, saw people living normal lives, and that's when I realized that, hey, I need to take charge of my uh, disease. I need to be uh, an advocate for my own self, for the, for, the, for the doctors, for my life, and that's when I got involved with um, educating other patients and myself on kidney disease. By empowering myself and taking charge of my health, I've been um, appointed by Governor Jeb Bush to work on the school board. I've been to Chicago. I've been to Alaska. I did horse bike riding. I've done to. I've been to D.C. Um, talking with the senators, doing advocacy for uh, dialysis patients. I've uh, been to uh, Key West and had a great time twice on dialysis. So. Um, I've just been all over Florida um, having a good time and living a full and wonderful life. I'm Janice Starling and I have kidney disease.